Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And before we get started, can y'all believe that we're almost at 200 subscribers? Now it might not seem like a lot, but just imagine wherever you are, 200 people being there. Like if you're in your room, house, whatever, 200 people being there. So I just want to say, uh, let's keep growing. I thank all the subscribers, new and old, for uh, checking out the channel. But with that being said, let's get into the video. And today we're going to be talking about the new Brooks Lunch 9 um, after 50 miles. Alright, so right now um, we just went over 50 miles in the, in the Brooks 9. This is the orange colorway. Um, I don't know the official name of it. It's, I, we're just going to call it orange for the sake of the video. But um, it's kind of it's holding up pretty nice. Um, to say that there's uh, 50 miles on it. It is a little dirty as you can see right here if the camera will focus on it. Maybe. Maybe not. But anyway, there you go. Anyway, it's a little scuff right there. And then right here on the toe, right there, um, it's starting to fray just a tad bit. Nothing crazy. Um, That's what you expect out, out of a shoe. Uh, made out of this kind of upper, it's gonna uh, fray a little bit. But um, so far, so good, man. Outsole, midsole, still holding up pretty good. Now, I will say, after my first few runs, this heel part started to crease. Now, I'm not the lightest runner, um, but I'm also not the heaviest. I'm, a, I'm about 180. Um, so, just be mindful um, if you're a little bit heavier um, that it will crease right here. And it, like I said, it's nothing crazy. Let's see if the camera will catch it. It's nothing crazy. Um, but it is like right in the right in the uh, crease is starting to like kind of fade if y'all can see that like right there it's starting to fade so I don't know what that's about and again I haven't tried to clean it so it could be just some dirt um, dust like whatever this is um, just in that crease um, but just know once you wear them, they will crease. And then over on the right side, it's not as creased as bad, but you can still see that that fading right there. Um, so I don't know what that is. So far, so good. I love it. It's not a hot shoe. It's starting to get hot here in Texas, so that was one of my concerns with the updates. Would it still be as breathable as the eights? Um, and this material, so far, so good. It's holding up. I kind of want to show you a comparison of a Lunch 9 that's worn um, right around that 50 mile mark. And I have another pair that we just got um, that I ran three miles today, which was the first run. And just kind of show you the differences. So, new pair of Lunch 9s, like I say, three miles straight out the box. It is getting some of that creasing. Now, I don't know if that is just this material, how it creases over time. Um, I don't know. And then, but you can kind of tell like in the forefoot area, it's a little bit of creasing, but it's not bad. And I don't know if it's cause it's just texture and this is flat. So this part right here is like a flat and it's kind of texture. So I don't know if that's why you can see the creases more. Um, but again, this is just after three mile run today right there and then this is 50 miles so see if the camera and that's 50 miles so just kind of be mindful of that like i say it's not a deal breaker um don't really mess with the shoe performance wise just really the aesthetics um but when you got it on feet you can't really notice it because it's on the side so unless unless you're looking in a mirror or something then you'll really see that creasing but other than that um, the shoe is holding up really well, and I really like the tongue updates. So, if y'all don't know, on the new nines, the 
tongue got an update and it's super thin and it have two little overlays along the foot bone. Um, so it, it, it fits around your foot really, really comfortable. So, uh, yeah, man, I just wanted to jump over here and just show what's, uh, how the Launch 9 is holding up, you know, should you get it, um, what to look forward to, and, I, oh, one other thing is I thought that the heel, the heel was going to be a problem because it is more padded than the Apes, um, but it, so far it hasn't bothered me for it's like hot spots rubbing or anything it has more cushion than the eight so um from the updates from the eight to the nine i really like it um just besides that that creasing but that's the only negative i have for is the the new lunch nines um so we'll do another one of these reviews at 100 miles and we'll see how it's holding up but so far i think um after 100 miles um, the only thing that we'll see is a little more decreasing in the heel, and that's about it. It has tons and tons of rubber, so if you can see right here, fighting with this camera right there, how much rubber. So if you get this shoe, um, you'll be able to go well over 200 miles, maybe closer to three, just depending on how um, your weight and how you run, like your foot strike and all that stuff, obviously, but. Um, just normal everyday use, you know, casual runner, well over two, three hundred miles, in my opinion. Um, yep. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. So, like I said, I just want to jump on here, do a quick update on where we are at with the lunch nines. And again, thank you, thank you, thank you to all the subscribers who are almost at that 200 mark. Um, for the older subscribers, thank you for rocking with me for this long, and the new people. Thank you for subscribing to the channel, checking it out. But with that being said, we're going to get out of here. Let you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.